Hi, uh, it's Kara here. I have been asked several times to do a YouTube tutorial for this guy, the little monster top knot that I've been doing. Um, I talked about cutting my hair and had a couple more requests. So before I chop it off in the next, I don't know, couple months, I thought I would show you guys how to do it. So uh, right now, obviously, this is the final finished product. So I don't know how to do all that fancy blogger um, viral, you know, YouTube sensation stuff, so I'm just going to take it out and show you from the beginning. In the meantime, I'll tell you what you need. You need a hair tie, whatever you prefer, it just needs to be able to hold your hair pretty tight. You are going to need your brush, or if you don't use a brush to do ponytail, then I guess you don't need one. Um, the key tool you're going to need is a teasing comb, a very fine tooth comb. I use this Conair one, which is specifically made for this. You can see um, the teeth, the fine teeth, have teeth themselves. It's like a shark. There's teeth and there's more teeth. Um, you're going to need hairspray. I use Dove Extra, Extra Hold. Don't get sent, uh, the flexible stuff. No. You want Extra Hold. Uh, depending on if it's second to hair or freshly washed hair, mine was freshly washed this morning. A little, a little red tin, shine, brilliance, uh, outshine, or a little bumble surf spray. So right now I have to brush out all the junk that I already did to it in the last video that I tried to make and upload, and that didn't work. I'm only minorly really irritated. So, oh, I think I just gave Rudy a concussion. He's right here. I may have smacked him with the brush. Uh, I'll lean back a little further to brush it out. Okay. Uh, it's a cute look on me, huh? Um, so, there we go. Wonderful. Okay, there's already a bunch of junk in my hair, since I tried to do this already. It didn't work. But, you know, give it a spray, give it a little texture, and just start with your ponytail. Um... It doesn't have to be smack on top of your head. It can be at the crown. It can be, you know, or back here, whatever. Wherever. It's still going to look cute. Oh, Rudy's down. I guess he wasn't concussed. So. Also, my bangs are annoying me, so this is what they're doing. I don't know. Um. Let me just go about here. Okay. And it's a little bumpy. It's a little messy. That's okay. That's kind of the whole allure, I think, of the monster messy top knot. So you can see this is a pretty high pony. Pretty high. Pretty pretty Taylor Swiftian, I would say. Um, so then, you know, give it a good spray again and grab your comb. And you're going to start teasing it in sections, okay? Um, depends on your hair thickness as to how large or small you want those sections to be. Uh, just kind of try a few, see how it goes. Right now I've got about, I don't know, this much hair. Um, and just start teasing from the base of your pony. Actually, that's a little too much. Um, all the way to the end. Okay. I'm going to straighten this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, if I was a pro, beauty blogger, viral YouTube sensation, this is the part where the video would speed up and go and fast forward, and then you would just see the final result. But, <laughs> since I'm a total amateur, you're going to see me do the whole thing. Uh, or you can fast forward yourself, skip ahead, I won't be offended. Fine. So you, you tease these sections, just lay them forward. You want to go all the way to the end. See these ends here? I want to make sure I get the ends. Um, Keep going. And yes, it should look really messy and big and crazy right now. This is, a, I feel, a nice alternative to the whole sock bun phenomenon, which is pretty cool. But doesn't work for everyone and isn't quite everyone's style and is not quite as, you know, easy to accomplish, I think, as something like this. Which, you know, whatever the length of this video is, it's so fast and easy to do this, I guarantee you. It takes no time at all, also because it doesn't need to look perfect. So you really don't have to try that hard. 
so I'm almost at the end. Also, Top Knot's are cool, um, a cool alternative because they're not quite as polished as the sock bun. It's a little messier, a little more undone. It's kind of fun. Okay. So it really looks like I have a rat's nest on my head, slash, like I'm cousin it. Um, that's perfect. That's what we want. So I give it another spray. Yup, another one. And then I basically just pull it up on my head, okay? So it's really fat, you can see. Kind of just start twisting and see what happens. Really there's no method here, you just start playing with it and try to get it how you like it. Yes, we are listening to Rihanna, you will deal. Okay, so once you have something you think you might like, you start pinning. And I can't remember already if I <laughs> I already said this in this video because I tried it once and it didn't work. Um, but I use no slip grip bobby pins. They are not smooth on the inside. They have tiny little teeth. Can you see this? See the bumps? Okay, that's not really working. There. Bumps. Okay? They're not smooth. They have bumps, so it gives it, your hair a little more grip. It's just really holds your dew, no matter what's going on. Alright, I got a big weird lump here. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna fix it. That's what's awesome about this. You can just kind of play with it, pull it apart, make it messy. You know? It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's fun. Okay? There. So, that's kind of, kind of a, that's kind of it. That bobby pin is a little too stretched. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, I don't actually know what it looks like in the back, so I'm going to try to show you. We'll s hope it looks good. Um, okay, so here we go. Okay, I see I've got some sticky uppies. Um, I used to work with a girl who was constantly pointing out my sticky uppies uh, during my tenure as a Starbucks barista. Every time she would point it out and say, it's bugging me, I was like, good, and I'd pull more out just to bug her more. Hi. Um, so yeah, I like a little messy. I like a little, little disheveled. I think it's cute. You know? There. Um, now you can just, you know, pull down a few more pieces. If you have layers that it's going to look really cute. Just pull down some stuff. Make it a little more fun and messy, a little less, I don't know, a little less memoirs of the geisha or something. So, um, there you go. And that is kind of it. That's it. You got your monster top knot, you can take on the world. What's next? Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Let me see yours.